Tuesday and today I'm going to be telling you about my blood test results and what me and my daughter me and my doctor discussed today and I'm also going to be telling you guys a little bit about what I'm going to be doing um, with Fear Haven Health Okay, so to begin with, I had a blood test two weeks ago, basically just to see what's going on. Um, my doctor um, sent a referral through for me to see a dietitian. I still haven't heard back from the clinic yet, but I probably won't. It's public health system, and we all know how crappy public health systems are. I probably won't hear back from them for months. Um, yeah, so today I finally went to the doctor and got my blood test results. Basically, he said everything came back fine except for um, whichever one of these things means my male hormones. So, if you're thinking, what? Male hormones? Women have both male and female hormones in them. So, um, women have estrogen and all that fun stuff, but we also have testosterone in our hormones. Um, and when your testosterone levels are high like mine I think it might be Andrin Andrew is that on here I don't see that on here um Andrin ah here we go Andrin yeah androgen so that's um about your testosterone and stuff and when they're high you get things like um uh like facial hair or just extremely hairy um and it's a it's a common symptom of having pcos is having those high testosterone levels and therefore you know like more hair growth than what you would normally see on a woman um i'm not exempt from that i also have it it's actually called hair hair truism or something like that and yeah it, it sucks it's not fun um i shaved my arms because my arms were always extremely hairy probably it's probably nowhere near as bad as what I think it is but you know you're always never happy with your own body are you so um you like hairy belly buttons hairy under your chin hairy face some women have full-on beards and you know it's not fun because it's the kind of thing that's not typically normal for a woman so you get teased and blah 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 blah, blah. anyway so my levels are apparently high um, but I'll go through some of these levels with you um they tested for pregnancy and the levels for that were, I'll just go through shall I, um, testosterone 1.8, free testosterone 42, sex hormone binding, gold villain 21, free androgen index 86. If you don't know what any of these mean, <laughs> you're not alone, I don't either. Um, HbA1c, don't know, 29 apparently. Um, pregnancy, here we go. So my um, HCG, like beta level, is less than one. <laughs> so that means um, that I am definitely, definitely not pregnant um, because less than five means you're not pregnant. So, and if you're interested, five to 25 um, is like, yeah, you may be really early pregnant, but you need another blood test. And over 25 means that you're pregnant. Um, we've also got here TSH, don't know what that is, but it's 0 0.73, sodium 143, potassium 4.8, ferritin 45, I don't know what any of these mean. Um, FSH, these are all words I understand what they are, so FSH was 4.8, um, and apparently that is consistent with a follicular phase. Uh, Mid-cycle peak is 5 to 22, luteal phase is 2 to 8, postmenopausal is 26 to 134, if you're interested. LH um, was 16, um, which is consistent with mid-cycle, so 14 to 95 mid-cycle, 2 to 13 is follicular, follicular, follicular phase, luteal phase is 1 to 12, postmenopausal is over 20. Anyway, basically I'm not pregnant and I'm not ovulating right now as far as I know. So far taking one metformin pill before bed at night has not been affecting me. The other day I took two before bed just to see how I'd cope. The next day I had the worst stomach cramps ever, so clearly I just cannot take two. One is fine. Um, someone else has been mentioning the slow release hormone, uh, slow release hormone, slow release metformin tablet. Completely forgot to ask my doctor about that and I'm not paying another $35 to go back to my doctor. So I'm just going to have to stick with the one metformin before bed I think. I might try to take one maybe mid-afternoon, 
So one at night and then one mid-afternoon the next day. We'll see how it goes. I'll find something that works for me anyway. But basically, it was a waste of time, this doctor's appointment. I felt completely and utterly, like, defeated, I guess, because there's just nothing he can do for me. He's like, you've just got to lose weight, even though he said, you know, you don't look overweight to me. He's like, this thing of PCOS, it's usually people who are overweight. And metformin helps with that, but you don't look overweight to me. And I was like, so what? I was like, I'm overweight. Hi, Mila Rose. Um, I am overweight. I could lose a good 10 kilos. Um, and basically, yeah, now I just have to wait for this referral from the, um, dietitian to come through, basically. <laughs> Hi. What have, have you been into my Tupperware cupboard? <laughs> Hi. Hey, have you got my Tupperware? <laughs> you smell like you're done poopy. So basically, um, yeah, nothing new to add here. But going on to the next thing. So I'm excited to say that I'm getting a bunch of stuff from Fairhaven Health. <laughs> <laughs> you are cute. Oh, what have we got? A fury. Ah. Uh, oh, here, you want to put it in here. Um, so I'm getting a bunch of stuff from Fairhaven Health, which is really exciting. I'm doing a review for them. So I'm getting like... I'm getting um, Fertilate. I'm also getting Over over boost and I'm getting another one that I can't remember what it's called I'll put it somewhere here if I remember to okay. check it in but yeah I'm so I'm so excited to be receiving those in the mail soon um I just can't wait to get started on all these pills and I talked to my doctor about it too and he said that that's all that stuff's fine to take with metformin so um I double checked with my doctor and it's all good to go so I've just got to wait for it to arrive in the mail and I will be able to take this stuff for two months and I'll be giving a review so that you guys um you know if you want to buy it but want to see how it works for me i mean every person's different anyway but you know can't help uh can't hurt to take i'd really love to get one of their fertility monitors but you know when you convert it to new zealand dollars it's like three four hundred dollars and i'm like i'm not going to spend three four hundred dollars on a fertility monitor so that that kind of sucks uh, so the only other thing i was going to talk about was that i am now doing weekly vlogs um the maybe daily vlogs are still going but they're way harder to do. The weekly vlogs I find way more fun and like I really love looking back on Roman's weekly vlogs that we did so I'm doing them again with the whole family. So if you haven't seen it yet um, I'm sure there'll be one up here or down there or somewhere. They'll be linked somewhere and it's just like snippets of the whole week basically. So the whole family's going good. We're all doing great. Uh, still doing renovations to our house. Um, Mila Rose is doing awesome. Roman is very glad that the holidays are over. Um, he's back at... <laughs> noisy! He's back at Kindy. That's where he is today. Um, he's absolutely loving being at Kindy. Um, Tuesdays and Thursdays are just special for two uh, for four year olds. So it's kind of like a preschool type class. Um, whenever. And also I am coming up to Auckland! So if you're in the Auckland area, I'm going to the Auckland Baby Show on the 22nd or 23rd. I'm going up on the Saturday. So I'm going to the Saturday Baby Show in Auckland. So if you're in that area and you want to come say hi, I will be at the Baby Show. Alright you guys, that's it from me. I mean, I'm not pregnant right now and I don't think I'm ovulating at all. I haven't ovulated since I finished breastfeeding Mila Rose and I have a feeling that this is just not going to happen so I presume we're going to have to be adding in some Famara but um yeah that really sucks but, um, but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next vlog which will be a I don't know either a weekly Wednesday which is tomorrow or a fan day Friday and make sure you put your comments below if there are any vlogs you want to see or if you want to shout out. Clipping. Cute. Alright guys that's all from me. See ya.